Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'm Zelda Master and well in the previous episode we took on the Temple of Courage and saved the Spirit of Courage and surprisingly it didn't give us its name. Actually it didn't talk to us at all, it seems rather soulless. So we'll figure out the answer to that soon. But in general we have all three spirits rescued and they should aid us to find the ghost ship and take on the evil inside of the ghost ship and rescue Tetra and all that cool stuff. So yeah, exciting things to come. But, uh, I believe the first thing we want to do is check out Romano's house, because you can tell he added a sign on top of his house. So let's go ahead and talk to him and see what's new. So, hey kid, when pursuing your dreams, what's the first step? I've decided to follow in my dad's footsteps and go the way of an adventurer, but it seems like my own first step is to make money for the trip. So, on that note... This is a shooting range, you can play if you have a bow and arrow. It's 20 rupees per game, wanna play? Yes we do. Okay, wanna hear the rules? No we don't, because I'll explain the rules while playing this game. This mini game is rather easy, as you can tell, you have to use the top screen to actually see the, uh, the signs that are gonna slide in, and you have to hit these ghost signs. Now, keep in mind that there are gonna be signs with little girls on it, and if you hit it, um, you'll lose points. And how this works is, every time you hit a sign in a row without like shooting an arrow uh, without like shooting a sign or something basically you want to shoot them in a row you'll get 50 points it goes from like 10 to 30 to uh, I believe 50 and then it just stays on 50 so 50 is the highest you can get per um, per hitting a sign I guess so yeah it's really simple you just want to make sure you don't miss any and don't hit any girls because I believe you lose points if you hit girls as well as lose your streak so yeah there's the girl sign that I want to avoid and you want to as you can tell get really high score um currently the score to actually get a good prize is uh 1700 so yeah I'm gonna have to focus here because I don't want to screw up um but it's simple because you're using a touch screen you can be extremely precise you just have to not miss anything and you'll be able to get what you want Oh, I got, uh, 2,000. Okay, 2,000, I believe, is for the piece of heart prize, but I wonder what he's gonna give me. Um, he just gave me the piece of heart straight up. Okay, now we have to play again and get around, you know, 1,700 and up, so we can get the, uh, quiver, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and do this again. I'm surprised I did it perfect on the first try, but I'm gonna be honest, it's a pretty easy mini game because the touch screen controls are extremely easy to handle, and... Yeah, I remember the first time I ever played this mini game. I had so much trouble doing it, and that is because um, I would click L and um, hold the and hold the touch screen. And for some reason, that threw me off. I don't know why. I just felt like I had to keep my hand on L. And I believe you can actually hit Romano, but I'm not gonna do it unless I get the 1,700 mark. Then I'll start hitting him. Um, so let's see how well we do this time. Um, but in general, we got the piece of heart, and that's like the main prize, but I'll be honest, the big quiver is actually pretty important as well, so. Yeah, I feel like I should show this off again, just to show you, like, my way of doing it the second time. Um, you can hit them early like that, but it's a lot harder to actually hit, and I actually screwed that up, but, yeah. I want to see if I can hit it on the side. You actually can right before they're gonna turn and face you, but... Yeah, like, as you saw, I screwed that up, so, yeah, let's just try to do this correctly. I'm either gonna be on point or be, like, two points off. I think you can recover if you do miss one. My stylus is- I'm losing grip on my stylus. Crap, I just- I just screwed this up. Let's see if we can recover really hard. Dun, 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 dun. No! Oh, I had it. I had it, but I just screwed it up so hard. I need to hit two more, but like, I don't know, I was just like losing the grip of my stylus. It was like slowly, uh, you know, sliding off of my hand. I guess because, um, it's really slippery. Because when I hold it for a long period of time, it starts to sweat. I don't have sweaty hands, it's just, it feels rather sweaty. So I'm just gonna cut until I get 1,700, because there's really no point to show this. So, yeah. Alright, so I got my record, now time to shoot him. Look at him, he's like just jumping and avoiding the um arrows which is pretty cool but that's all i really want to show and i got myself the 1800 points uh prize which is the quiver actually just 1700 all the way to 2000 so yeah there we go and uh i believe if you play it again you can get yourself ship parts as long as you get over 1700 since you already got the quiver and piece of heart but if you get less than 1700 you only get like small treasures 
And no matter what, you have to get like 1,500 or something to actually get a prize to begin with. Because, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Getting a 1,000 points isn't hard, so he's not going to reward you with anything if you don't get at least, you know, like a 1,000 something. I don't really know the number for it, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out uh, Merke Island's, or rather, um... Malida Island shop and will you look at that yes they have a power gem for sale so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this you want to check out all the shops for the islands because they do sell some pretty important stuff and good thing I remember this because I completely forgot about this power gem but yeah now it's time to leave the island I guess and and see what we have to do next so let's go ahead and make our way up here and let <gasps> line back no wait a second Oceans is here. That's weird. Oh, Grandpa! What are you doing here, Grandpa? I came to tell you something very important. Oh, something important? Yes, young one. Now listen to what I have to say. Celia, you are no ordinary fairy. Among fairies, you are special. You are a spirit. A spirit? What are you saying? I mean, I, I don't even have any special powers. There is no way. I understand how you feel. You lost your memory. The spirit you just freed holds the power you lost. It's time for you to return to your original form. Please bring me the spirit, Link. Now, I will begin. Huh, how do you feel? I don't feel any different, but at the same time, everything is different. I feel alive. You're back, I was waiting for this moment. Now you can join powers with us. I don't even know what to do, this is all so sudden. Follow your feelings, focus with the other spirits. Focus. Deeply. Link! Help me! Link! I just heard her, Link! I heard a girl pleading for your help! She was calling out to you! That was Tetra! I know it was her! You've got to hurry! We have to go now! Celia... That vision you just had... Your ability to sense evil is one of your spirit powers. You have awakened as the spirit of courage. You might not feel all of your true powers yet, but someday, no evil spirit will be able to hide from you. Link! Come on, we'll show you the way to the ghost ship! I can feel it out there! Let's go! Yes, yes. You should hurry, Link. Head straight for the ghost ship!
Old man? Who? Who are you? Really? That? I'll explain when the time is right. For now you must hurry to the ghost ship. <laughs> Fine. Keep your secrets, you old sea pickle. I'm just in for the loo anyway. Well, okay, so apparently Celia is a spirit of courage. That makes a lot of sense, uh, because the spirit of courage wasn't talking to us and all of that, because apparently it was just Celia's memory, so yeah, Celia has a much important uh, part to this game, like the other two spirits of virtue. But anyways, hey kid, I just remembered something brilliant. When chasing the ghost ship, remember how the fog, uh, how we vanished into fog, all but the ghost ship is hiding in that fog. Okay, well, obviously that... That should have been obvious, lying back. But okay, anyway, let's go ahead and make our way up, I guess, and and see what we shall do. So here we go. And I actually want to find the golden frog that's here. Huh, I feel strange. I feel something creepy, an eerie tingle in my spine. Feel anything weird, Link? I don't. Wait, what's that? Stop right there! I finally found you, line back. Who is that? And okay, it's Jolene. She's crazy. She was crazier than the rabbit squid way back when Jolene and I were kids. Uh, okay, apparently this is a story. Ah, I forget it. No time for his story. Now when Jolene is gunning for a ship, okay, we have to we have to avoid her torpedoes by leaping. Um, but she's she's closing in really fast, so let's just stop and let her climb aboard. Oh no, what's happening? My engine's gone dead. I, I'm pretty sure I hit stop, but okay. Um, but I believe no matter what, your engine was gonna fail, so, yeah, and she's gonna be able to ambush your ship. And then, we'll see what happens next. So now we're down here, this is where Lineback does all of his cool stuff here on the ship. But anyways, Fiend, it's been a hundred years since our past last cross. Really, a hundred? Are you sure about that? But anyways, oh what? You aren't Lineback. You're a little boy in green. Tell me where the whereabouts of Lineback this instant. Dots. Ah, keeping it a secret, are we? Playing Jolene for a fool, um, is an unwise choice. You will truly, you truly don't see, the uh, to tell, I, uh, what, you not forget it, whatever, so, you will be punished! We're going to fight Jolene, guys, Lineback's rival or something. So as you can tell, she's like a pirate, she has her, like, knife, and you just want to avoid her charge attack and then hit her at her back, because I just realized for, like, most of the enemies in this game, the back is always the weak spot. But as you can tell, she sucks at, like, striking. You can easily... I'm just gonna stand here and... Yeah, there we go. She was able to only hit me once. Oh, she hit me twice again. Okay. Just just charge at me. Just wait for her to charge, and then walk around it, and then hit her again. There you go. And now you want to rub really fast, because you're chancing with Jolene. And obviously, you can win this by just, like, yeah, rubbing the screen just like so. But anyways, hmm, best in by a little boy in green. Line back here are my words. Your pet is most skilled. Before I leave, I have one more thing to say. You, you don't think you've won because of this battle, hear me? Okay, uh, she'll come back one day. Let's go ahead and pick up her sword, I'm kidding, we can't. But I, I find it cool how she drops her sword and it stays there. But anyways, if we make our way to this box, yeah, Lineback was crouching here the whole time, hiding away, and we get ourselves a blue rupee. Hey, we're shipping out, kid. Okay, whatever. He only gives us a blue rupee, though, for taking on her rival, or his rival, rather.